putting on heels sucks. I am a fat fucking bitch, okay? I'm a fat ass bitch. And I'm fucking here, and I got my fucking belly out, you see? You see? That ain't no washboard, bitch. I'm obviously wearing heels, so I'm not as tall. But I'm pretty fucking tall regardless, okay? This is my body. This is what I'm working with. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care if you think I should lose weight. And I don't care if you think I'm unhealthy because you don't matter. I matter. I'm the one who has to live this life. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid, you know? I'm not afraid. And people want you to be afraid. People want you to, you know, get so scared and feel like no one's ever going to love you. No one's ever going to care about you. If this is what stops someone from loving me, I don't want them. I don't want someone to be stopped by the gates of my body, you know? I want someone to get past that, you know? And they shouldn't have to get past it because I'm beautiful. They shouldn't have to get past, get over, fuck that. They should love who the fuck you are inside and out. So if you look like me or if you're bigger than me, if you're smaller than me, who cares? Stop being scared. Stop being afraid of your body. Stop being afraid to wiggle and jiggle and just fucking be who you are. If you want to lose weight, lose weight. But if you don't want to lose weight, if you feel like you're perfect, then you are. Fuck everyone else. They are not buying your food. They're not doing anything for you other than making you miserable. If what other people thought about you really mattered, then, you know... What would life really be like? It doesn't matter. And it's the ability to get over things that really has helped me just be more confident and be more happy with myself because at the end of the day, when I'm paying my bills online, it's all coming from my bank account, not the person that told me I was fat and worthless. So you just have to realize that you are your only obstacle. If you really believe that losing weight is going to be great for you, then do it. If you really believe that buying those shoes are going to be wonderful for you, then do it. But don't put yourself in situations because of what other people want and what other people feel about you. Because all that matters is how you feel about yourself. You know, the ability for me to come out here with my stomach out, you know, just being myself, being a real person is it's really it's rewarding but it's also kind of scary you know and uh and i know that i'm not promised anything and i know that at any point in time someone can just take this video and just say all types of mean things about me but at the end of the day those mean words they're not stuck to me you know i i get to continue to be myself and i get to continue to live and thrive and i think that's the best thing about it a lot of people get sucked into this online world and they think you know everything's so bad all these people are so mean but you know if you just close your laptop or if you just turned off the monitor and you just went away if you did something else you definitely find people who actually care about your mental health you know people that really cared about you as a whole your health as a whole not just you know what you look like in a pair of jeans someone today sent me a message saying that i'd be a lot prettier skinnier and honestly i wouldn't know i've been fat my entire life and you know i've been getting by i'm i'm a very attractive young woman i believe and i'm not I'm not worried, you know, I've never had my looks be a problem, I've never had anyone say anything terrible to me about the way that I looked, but I feel like online, you know, people just say like the most horrible things to you and you just can't even believe that that's a real person writing these things. Um, but with that said, um, I just wanted to come and talk real quick about uh, concern trolling. You telling me that I'm gonna die, you know, is not gonna scare me. You telling me, because I already know I'm gonna die, you know? I've, I've come to terms with it. When I was younger, I was very scared to die. But, you know, now that I, you know, I'm really living life, I'm just, I'm noticing that, you know, it's kind of repetitive. And, you know, things, you know, like, you, if you really break down what life is, life is just life. It's just here. You can either participate or you can sit down and watch it pass you. And for a long time, I just let life pass me. If you want to be in control of your life, you really have to just let go of what people are saying about you. You really have to. Because they are not paying your bills. They're not doing anything for you to help your life and to, you know, make you a better person. If anything, they're making you feel alienated in your body. They're making you feel like, you know, you, you're not good enough. And that's not the case. So I just, I really hope someone got a message from this. You know, I just, I just want to encourage girls out there, you know, take out your stomach, stand to the side. You know, I don't have a lot of ass, but who cares? My stomach hangs a little, you see? Boop, boop, boop. All right, this is my real belly. And I just, I'm not, I can't care. I can't care about what anyone's going to say about me and my shit because this is mine. This is what I'm working with. And if I lose weight, this will still be mine. You know, and if I gain weight, it'll still be mine. And as soon as people realize that other people's opinions don't matter, then you'll really start to be a happier person, I promise you.